I've just got a box that, if I'm honest, I really, really wasn't expecting. But I'm sure some of you guys will recognise this logo on the side. Yes. My name's Tell, and today we've got another Funko box opening for you. That is Tell and Poppy. It's a random act of kindness. And a Royal Mail survey. Let's check out what it is. So I've somehow managed, and I've not done this for a few videos, managed to misplace uh, my knife. However, I do have one of these random things that I got as a present, one of those, oh, Alstra like that. It's a screwdriver and bottle opener and supposedly a phone stand. Anyway. Oh, Tell's done what Tell hates. Tell's put in a letter. As far as my conversations with Tell have gone, normally he refers to these as the cringy letter that people put in boxes. Um, I get that. I totally get that. I've, I had a few, and it's not to say I didn't appreciate the present or the gesture at all. I had a few recently that I've just enjoyed the gift. And yeah, I've showcased the, the, the pop, um, but I've not read the letter out. And it's not to say, as it's to say, that I don't appreciate it, because I really, really do. But I'm going to read Tell's letter to the mighty Storm Corps. He knows me. He knows me. Yeah. I'm mighty. Anyway, uh, thank you for the constant interaction, bringing out the inner geek in me. Hope you and the family are keeping safe. I know you're a busy man, and we all want to see loads of Stormcore content, but family comes first. No need to pay me for this Funko Pop. You were one of the first to get in touch with me and someone I can actually call a friend. All the best, Tell. And a nice wee sticker on the bottom here as well. Oh, it doesn't rip the piss out of me like some people have done. Let's check out what he sent. We don't need to see the bubble wrap. Oh, yes. Magneto, but young Magneto, the Walmart exclusive. Tell, I think... Well, realistically, by the time this video has come up and I've watched on his channel, Tell has unboxed this or showcased it on his channel quite recently as well. Uh, he did say to me that he was ordering uh, one, as far as more, from Pop Culture. Uh, and you've picked me one up as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you watched the Pop in for a Chat with Tell, uh, we did speak about X Men. Both of us were uh, very much on the X Men hype train. And I mentioned how I picked up. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's sitting right here. The other Magneto. Uh, this was a trade with an uh, Instagrammer, Funko Pop Nerf Herder. Thank you. Uh, and I mentioned how I really wanted this. I hadn't seen it anywhere in the UK uh, that wasn't what I would call a flipper price. Uh, and uh, he's done me a solid and picked this up. Oh, he's levitating. This one, he's just standing. Don't get me wrong, I like this. I like the pose. But look at that. Young Magneto kicking some ass. Oh, and a nice pop figure sorter as well. Thanks, man. Sorter? You know what I mean. Plastic doohickey. So this is Young Magneto. I say levitating. That pose is absolutely fantastic, actually. The way that... If you hold it this way. The body's slightly twisted. The, the cloak's kind of raised up. To kind of show some motion. I just think that looks... Absolutely brilliant. This is the, the Michael Fassbender one uh, from the younger version of Magneto. Obviously Ian McKellen doing the, the older side of things. Now, I don't know how well this is going to pick up, but I'm going to give this a whirl. Now look at that. Look at the detail on that helmet. Yeah. I said helmet. Oh, just look at the detail on this. Seriously. The helmet is absolutely hammered and scratched and dented and dinged. I'm going to probably drop some more words beginning with D. But it is fantastic. Thank you so much, man. So I really, really do appreciate it. But this is absolutely brilliant. Now, this is, again, killing me. Oh. 
turning what should be a nice act to kind of into a moan, but it shouldn't be a moan. The reason it's a moan is I got no X Men behind me. I love X Men. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going down the comic line. There's far too many. There is far, far too many. But this is a sick, sick line. And you guys don't get to appreciate any of this. So, what I'm going to do, other than saying thank you so much to tell, is I'm going to let you guys decide what is behind this. Okay? I'm going to reel off some lines. And I want you to tell me, let's go for three shelves, even though there's one here with the, the One Division twins. Um, simple. We're going to scrap that one. It doesn't really count because you can't properly see it. So we've got three shelves. One is obviously thinner up at the top. And we've got these two bigger ones. What should be behind me? What do you guys want to see as an exciting backdrop? We've got the Mando range. We've got some random uh, kind of stuff in that middle one. At the moment. We've got some uh, Disney. We've got a couple of anime at least. Uh, we've got some Wetmore Forest and Branch from Trolls. I can see it behind me. I don't know why I'm trying to remember. But what do you want to see? Do you want to see that kind of stuff? Do you want to see X-Men? Do you want to see Marvel? Do you want to see Venom? Venom's not been behind me for a long time. Do you want some of my, my Hero Academia collection? Do you want my Lord of the Rings? Do you want some random Marvel stuff? Do you want some movies? Do you want some TVs? Tell me, guys. Help me. Help me out. Because I see all my exciting stuff at this side. But you guys just get to look at a shitty shed wall. Let's transform this into something more exciting for you guys. So help a brother out. What should be on that wall? Anyway, I've turned this into something it shouldn't be. Oh, I, I don't know what else to say other than, than thank you. Now, before I wrap this one up, I do want to say one more thing. And again, it's a thank you to tell. When I was on my little bit of a, a YouTube break, this one might have actually been Christmas time, and that shows how poor I am at this side of things. I won a competition on Tell's channel. He had his fancy wheel that he spins for a few of his different games. And I picked number one, and I got to pick a, a, a genre of pop, and he sent me one. So... Uh, bounced a few ideas back and forth before we found something that he had a range of or some pops of. I won this and I keep meaning to, to put it in a video. I've just not had a chance. It's not a chance to put up. I won the Futura Stormtrooper on Tell's channel. I want to say thank you for that as well. In its stack, if I'm honest, I would have been blown away without it in the stack. But Tell, true gent, man. Thank you so much. Loved chatting to you more uh, obviously disappointing that you have returned back to the workplace and are no longer quite as accessible for a bit of banter and again thank you so much for being on popping for a chat not that long ago anyway guys i am now rambling on this video so let's wrap this one up let me know in the comments below what you think of magneto let me know in the comments below what should maybe go on the shelves if you can be arsed and if not, hit that wee thumbs up button and I'll see you guys for another video real soon.